Let's discuss creatine and how amazing it is, where it comes from and what it does for us. And is it a steroid? I get that question a lot. So let's go on, let's, let's get into it and learn a little bit more about creatine. So creatine is made natural in your body. It's stored in your muscle as phosphocreatine, which means that it can get depleted quickly because your muscle can only store so much. So it's important to supplement with creatine to help your muscles stay strong and allow you to exercise longer, stronger, and better. Creatine helps aid in the function of ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. That's how your body makes energy. Every little thing that you do, getting out of bed, brushing your teeth, blinking your eyes, everything you do is done through the formation of ATP, which is energy. During exercise, your body will break down the creatine, as I mentioned, so that you may feel fatigued or tired as a result of that. If you've ever worked out and you have felt like, oh, I just don't have one more rep, or I'm just too tired to continue on, it's time to take a break, I need food, I need this, I need that, that may be why you feel that way. So supplementing with creatine helps to negate this. It allows you to exercise longer, stronger, and have more productive, efficient workouts, no matter what your fitness level is. It helps build your muscle by raising IGF-1, which is insulin glucose factor, which is simply a hormone that helps, you know, helps in aid in muscle growth. And it also helps to retain muscle integrity in the elderly. And it fights muscle-wasting diseases like Huntington's, Parkinson's, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. And allows people to, to hold on to their muscle as they age versus sarcopenia, which is also muscle-wasting. And then you see people very weak and frail and they can't get up on their own. That is what we want to prevent. So some of the benefits of supplementing with creatine is that it will improve high intensity exercise performance. And as again, as I said, it benefits all fitness levels. So you don't need to be a bodybuilder or a triathlete. You can just be a gym goer that just wants to have a great body, feel good, have a strong metabolism. Creatine is definitely for everyone. It benefits everyone. It's definitely effective in adding muscle size. And ladies, again, I say this all the time to you when you ask me and I get this question all the time, it's not gonna bulk you up. Creatine is not going to make you put on weight or make you look watery or bloated. Creatine causes you to hold muscle, water in the muscle, which makes the muscle full and strong. It's not subcutaneous water that you hold onto, which is simply water that's under the skin, which gives you that bloated look. It's not like that at all. It helps with muscle fiber growth and it helps in adding muscle size. It really is one of the safest supplements to use. There have been numerous studies done on creatine in the elderly and the young and the middle aged, and it's shown to benefit everyone. And as I stated before, it helps prevent muscle wasting diseases, which is what we want. We want to age strong and amazing and be able to do all the things we want to do well into, into our old golden years, if you will, seventies, eighties. I plan on being here till about 90 or so, maybe even a hundred. So, the other one, the other benefit about creatine is that it has cognitive health benefits. Neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, epilepsy, brain and spinal cord injuries, dementia, cause a reduction of phosphocreatine in the brain. So using creatine has been shown scientifically, and there are studies that it shows it could reduce or slow brain degeneration. Now, I don't know about you, but that's something that really interests me even more than building muscle. If I can keep my brain healthy and sharp and strong as I age, even better. So here's a supplement that can keep your body strong and your brain strong. I, I feel like this is, again, for no pun intended, a no-brainer. Creatine has also been shown to low, lower blood sugar, help fight diabetes by increasing a molecule called GLUT4, which simply is another hormone that delivers blood sugar to your muscles to be used for energy and not stored as fat, which is very important. You want your food to be used as fuel, as energy, not to be stored around your midsection, your butt, your legs, your arms. You want to use your food for fuel, and this is important. It's also been shown, again, to improve brain function and health in the elderly, along with age-related muscle loss. So there's, again, two added benefits right there. And creatine provides your brain with additional energy and increases dopamine, which is your feel-good hormone. So as you can see, there are amazing cognitive benefits by supplementing with creatine. And again, 
it's for all ages from 20 something on up to 80, 90, 100 something. Some of the creatine myths that I come across a lot are creatine's a steroid. No, no, no. It's not a steroid. Your body makes it naturally and supplementing with it helps and you can buy it in any vitamin store, health food store, Amazon, and you can't do that with other things that are illegal. You can't get them that way. So creatine is not a steroid. Creatine will make you bloated and fat. Nope, I just said that before. It holds water in the muscle, not subcutaneous water under the skin. Creatine will give you big bulky muscles. For the guys who may want that, ladies, it's that's not what it does. It's not gonna do that. It's just gonna help you be more efficient when you're in the gym, and obviously it's gonna keep your brain very sharp. Creatine is only for bodybuilders who load it. Absolutely not. Creatine will hurt your kidneys. No, it will not hurt your, hurt your kidneys. Now, I will say this. If you have kidney damage or you have kidney problems or kidney issues, I would not use creatine. I would talk to my doctor first and definitely would not add any supplement if I had any kind of liver or kidney disease before I spoke to my healthcare practitioner to make sure that it was safe for me. But if you don't have any of those problems, you're not going to get kidney or liver damage by using creatine. So how do you supplement with creatine? All you need is a basic creatine monohydrate. And I'm gonna show you a picture on the next slide. It's just a white powder, it's flavorless. You can do two and a half to five grams of creatine a day, ladies. I do about, it's usually about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, two and a half grams to five grams. And that's all you need. And you can do it pre-workout, you can do it. Intro workout is how I use it. I put it in my branch chain amino acids that I drink while I lift. Or you can do it post-workout. Wherever you put it, you're going to get the benefits. So there's really no right or wrong place. It's just how you want to use it. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a fancy brand that has all kinds of things added in it, into it and, and you know <clears throat> statements on the can or the jar. You don't need to do that. You don't need to buy a fancy, schmancy, shiny jar. You just go to the vitamin shop or a GNC or somewhere and buy the store brand works fine. That's the one I use and just get a white flavorless creatine monohydrate. Again, there's the dosage two to five grams. It's science backed for over two centuries. They've been looking at creatine and the benefits. They started with just muscle and then they realized that it had cognitive health capabilities to it. So they started using it for that aspect also. And it's safe and effective for long-term use. You don't have to cycle it. You don't have to use it and go off it and then use it and go off it. You can use it continually and stay on it. Again, what type to purchase a creatine monohydrate. Here's a picture here. This happens to be my bottle that I took a photo of, but you can really pick it up anywhere. Um, if you're not sure, you can ask me for a recommendation. I'm happy to, to give you some. There are many brands out there that are very, very good. You can get it in pill form, powder form, liquid form, or capsule form, however you want to do it. I like the powder. I don't even know it's there. It mixes in with anything, and you can have it. Now, I will say this. If you're a mixer, do not mix it in your coffee. I've had clients that say they put it in their coffee, but there have been some studies showing that creatine with caffeine the caffeine can negate some of the benefits. So just be mindful of that. I, I wouldn't take my creatine when I'm having caffeine, like coffee. So just be mindful. You might want to take it at a, at a separate time than your morning coffee or your afternoon coffee. And it's supplementing with creatine is easy. It's very inexpensive. And it's a great way to get amazing results in the gym. I want to thank you for listening. I tried to keep this brief and just give you some of the highlights and the bullet points. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me, lindaifbbpro at gmail.com. You can also visit my website if you want to ask me any other questions. There's a spot there where you can schedule a call with me, complimentary, no obligation, lindamstevens.com. Please feel free to reach out to myself or anyone on my team. If you need more information on creatine or your health or eating or training, anything health and wellness and everything in between, we're happy to help you. Thank you for listening. I hope you found that helpful. 
This is just part of a series that I'm going to be doing where I can talk about different supplements that will help you with your workouts, help you stay strong, help your brain stay strong. Thanks. Have a great night.